Let's play the game Asterix and Obelix uh, XXL2, a game released here in Steam Store in November 2018. I have Proton 705 and uh, this is the game. Let's hit play and let's see it in action. I'm uh, running the game from an external hard drive. As usual, I'm using this uh, basis um, uh, USB Type-C hub 11 in 1. I have here uh, the charging cable, in the same time I'm able to charge the Steam Deck. I have the hard drive here, it's a 4 terabyte um, hard drive, this is it. And um, let's see here, the game is running with um, everything set at maximum, high graphics. Especially if you are a fan of uh, Asterix and Obelix, well, uh, you can play the games available uh, here in Steam Store on this device, on Steam Deck, and it will be a beautiful experience. If you want to see also games with Asterix and Obelix on Nintendo Switch, I have a lot of gameplays here on my channel. I'm using SteamOS as usual and to see this overlay um, info here, just select in performance overlay level here, select um, the level 2 and we are still waiting <coughs> for the game to start. From here, it seems we can change the resolution for this video. What? Get a fix? A traitor? Who are you to talk about our druid like that? My name is Sam Sheffer Gaul, and I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome, I'll not betray treachery till treason is reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village, to slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Just well, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix. It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, he didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little. And that doesn't make our Getafix a traitor. You're not going to believe the first Roman that comes by. Why, two tatties? He's gone. Just like a thief. I'm here, Cole. You wanted evidence? I've got evidence. Getafix is golden sickle. By two touches. If Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegas. What's that, Las Vegas? Las Vegas. Look at it. What should we do, Asterix? Should I knock? No, Obelix, you'll break it. Well, yes, of course. Psst! Calls! Look, Asterix, it's our friend the traitor. You can't get in through the main door, Goals. The park isn't open to the public yet. But I know a secret entrance. There! Behind that block. Over to you, Obelix. Hold this, please, traitor. Yeah, hey! Let's go, Obelix! We wait for you, Sam Schiffer. Go on ahead, go on. I'll catch you up.
Just press the jump button twice. Behind this door lies the heart of Las Vegas. But to enter, you will need to find a way to open this door, which is locked by an ultra-modern security system. You see the four torches. At the moment, they're all out. But as soon as they are lit, da -da -da, the door will open. It's a bit strange. It is said to be an infallible security system. Then how do we light these pesky torches? Reach each of the torches' twins in this room. Bash the torch a bit and presto, light will burst through the darkness. I'll open the first room and I'll wait for you there. Ow! No, because now's not it. Up if you would, we'll. Ah! I don't know, Obelix. This character is worrying me more and more.
la naranja. These doors look reinforced to me. I bet you'll have to be ready to stop here when you snap them. What? There's nobody around here. We get out one more torch to go and all the joys of last night about you. for fools, Asterix. Oh, I know how to push a little stone. I'm more worried about that button he keeps on talking about. Using the block, you should be able to reach the ledge up above. Oh, now you can move the bomb calmly. Get close to the bomb and you'll grab it automatically. No need to press a button. When you have hold of it, move it like you were moving Asterix or Obelix. Be careful. If the bomb touches a wall or if you bash it, it will get primed and then boom! Go on. Try moving the bomb in front of the fragile wall to blow it up. Wait till I'm out of the way. I'm sure you'll find other ways to bring down walls. <coughs> we have to be very careful with this bomb. Why can't they make little pocket bombs, these Romans?